In the 60s, there was a dance called the swim. It went like this. And I served time in the U.S. Navy, and I never learned to swim. And yesterday, I spent some of my time chasing little kids around with a water pistol. So this is about water. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was covered by water. But God's spirit hovered above. In days of slavery, we used to have a song called Wade in the Water. And this is, this is when they were chasing um, runaways um, who were running towards freedom. And they said, if you wade in the water, God will trouble the water. I'm also recalling Moses, how, how Moses went into the water as a possible death victim, but came out as a prince. And I'm reminded of, of Naaman, who, who the Syrian Syrian general, Syrian general, who had leprosy. And he did not want, want to go into the water because it was above, beneath his pride. But he went in and he came out healed. And I'm recalling even our Lord Jesus Christ, who, who suffered John the Baptist to baptize him at that time. And he heard the word of God saying, this is my son. And a dove descended. So water is important. It, 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 it means in each situation they were waded into the water. It means that when you have problems going on in your life, you need to trust God and wade into the water. The water is just another metaphor by being silent in his presence and let that his spiritual presence wash over to you. It's to trust him. It's to wade into the water because you want to get away from those things that are chasing you, that have been chasing you all your life, that's ruining your family. You, you want to also have your children come out as, as princes and princesses, and you want healing of your body. You see, it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by the Spirit of the Lord that you want to get these things done. So wait until the water. Don't wait until the last minute. Your power comes from being like a tree planted by the river, not being tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine. So wait until the water. Give yourself a moment of quiet. And let the Spirit of the Lord wash over you and watch everything change.